As from yesterday, the turbine has been returned to its former glory uh, and is working very, very well at the moment. Long may that last. Uh, it has been quite a journey over the last year and a half trying to get it uh, up and running. Uh, and there are a number of people that I'd like to thank. But before I do, I just wanted to give a quick rundown on the controller unit. It's a cabinet. And the top dial there uh, is a rotation blade, so it's six, at 60, it sees it's fluctuating depending on the wind that's thrown at the blades. When it goes up under 40 revolutions, the power transfer, which was that green light, goes off. And then after a while, when the wind comes back up, it's at 47, 49, you can see it's making its way up. When it hits 65, it kicks back in again. And while that power transfer is happening, there are, there's electricity being generated. This is the actual board that has been causing all the trouble. And thankfully I was able to get a replacement uh, within a week or two after getting that in place, uh, we eventually got it working. This is the meter back in the house. You can see here, the third line down is the important one. So at the moment it's 300 watts. And then depending on the wind conditions, as soon as the wind comes up, that rises accordingly. That bottom line tells you the number of units that was produced since yesterday. So it's 14 and a half units or 14 and a half kilowatt hours. So you can see here it goes right up uh, with the potential of going up to 15 or 16 kilowatts. It's currently a one kilowatt. So the wind isn't too high today, but it's still producing that amount. There's just a few people I'd like to thank for their help. Uh, over the last 18 months or so, uh, namely Apex Electrical from Hagerstown, Dundalk, in particular uh, Trevor and Nigel in there, uh, wonderful family ran business, thanks lads, especially Nigel for your help. Uh, a, a Alex in, Dun in Donegal, Alex helped uh, on the phone over the last uh, nine months, uh, Neil Fagan, for, and George Ryan for climbing up the uh, tower to help in uh, repairing some of the cables. Thanks lads, much appreciated. Uh, Aidan and uh, Kieran Van Holland for their help in building the uh, templates for the foundations uh, and their ongoing advice. Thanks very much lads. Uh, Johnny Miss Cummins. Uh, Johnny, thank you very much for your ongoing uh, help and support. It was much appreciated. BC Engineering Limited, who reconstructed the tail of the turbine. Adrian Boyle, who fully repaired the blades, who were like new coming back. Uh, thanks, Adrian. Deborah Bennett for building on the foundations, uh, for digging out the foundations for the actual uh, turbine itself. Um, Ted Nevin and Pat Nevin, two brothers, two gentlemen who really inspired me to keep going uh, and helped considerably uh, in you know the continued effort in getting the turbine to work thanks lads aiden dollard who put back in the bearings uh, into the gearbox thanks aiden thanks for that nigel Neely, who helped uh, again i never met the guy uh, but uh, he was always on the end of the phone to help whenever i needed help and advice and uh, thanks very much, Mike. Much appreciated. John Wallace, who put me in touch with Eugene uh, Donnelly, uh, who eventually, um, between these two gentlemen, I got I was able to get a second controller for the controller panel, and uh, that was an enormous step in getting the thing working. Uh, Phil Perry in Kansas, uh, thanks, Phil, for all of your help over the uh, last two years. Again, I never met Phil, uh, but uh, we must have exchanged several uh, emails over and back uh, and I always got a reply whenever I had a question, a technical question on the uh, on the actual reconstruction. Thanks Phil, much appreciated. Phil J Jacobs from Montana, uh, son of Masses Jacob Jacobs who was the uh, co-founder of Tur uh, Jacobs uh, Turbines. They were the first in the world to commercialize 
the idea of uh, selling turbines. Uh, thanks very much, Phil, for your help. Uh, Paul McCartan, who gave me ongoing advice as we were uh, as the build went on. Thanks, Paul, a colleague of mine in DPIT. Brendan Rogers, who helped in the electrical end of putting together uh, all the panels and uh, you know spent a lot of time here helping me. Thanks, Brendan. Uh, special thanks to Donal and Connor Rispin who helped during the construction. They were always there, always willing to help to put together the uh, foundations, the uh, constructing the actual lattice tower, and uh, indeed during the erection of the actual tower itself. Thanks, lads, and also a thanks to Danny and uh, Ned Rispin who helped uh, considerably uh, during that process. So thanks to everybody involved.